Colonies. Good morning, Colonies. I'm Caleb Dunachek. And I'm Brianna Meyer. It is a gorgeous Thursday morning. The temperature is pleasant and the sun is shining. Once again, with one bright white puffy cloud in the sky. But before we get into the weather, here's the news on the Revolutionary War. Last week we had Baron Fre uh, Frederick von Steuben in here about the winter at Valley Forge. Now let's turn to Ms. Coleman and General Green for the latest information with the war in the South. Thanks, Ms. Meyer. General Green, what happened back there? You lost every battle. We may have lost every battle, but overall we won the South. Is that even possible? Surprisingly, yes. I had the Army use guerrilla warfare, which was the strategy of fighting, right, getting beaten, rising, and fighting again. We led the British across the south. The goal of it was to tire out the British, and it worked. Wait a second. If the British chased you through the southern colonies, wouldn't they run out of supplies? Precisely. That was the part of the plan. The British would eventually be forced to steal from the colonists, causing them to be despised. The Patriots would hopefully end up being preferred. Even if the victims were loyalists, thankfully, it worked. Brilliant. In addition, the guerrilla soldiers kept the cause alive. Who knows what would happen if all hope was lost. Well, we would probably lose. Isn't it that obvious? It was a rhetorical question. Oh. Anyway, this has been General Green. Back to you, Miss Meyer and Mr. Donachuk. Thanks, Ms. Coleman and General Green. Who knew any of this could be done? Liberty is something important, uh, something that may have and would give their lives for. Whether or not we get, get liberty depends on the outcome of the war. Good point, Ms. Meyer. Let's take a look at an interview between Ms. Coleman and a victim of British theft. Thanks, Mr. Donachuk. Victim, what is your name? I'm Margaret, and I'm angry. Those stinking British soldiers, they stink so bad. Whoa there. Don't interrupt me. We noted. But let's get to the questions. What was your experience with the British that makes you hate them so much? Oh, just you wait. I've been breeding pigs all my life, and just as they were fattened and ready to be slaughtered, they take them, slaughter them themselves, and they stole them. We saw their footprints in the morning, but that was only the first group. Oh my. So, you're clearly a patriot, right? Don't interrupt me. But I am now. I used to be a loyalist until the uh, British came along. Another group came, stole our knives and guns. We had no defense, and they killed my beloved husband. He tried to fight them all. He died a noble and brave death. I'm so sorry. You didn't even know him. He was delightful and kind to everyone. He deserved so much more than he got. Please keep Margaret and her loved ones in your prayers. Back to you, Miss Meyer. That was truly heartbreaking. I hate to end this on a bad note, but this has been the revolution this has been the news on the Revolutionary yeah, War. Have a nice day.